Take a piece of paper that's 50 centimetres by 8 centimetres and then from one end mark a line at 32 centimetres. Now in this square that we've got left we need to divide it into three sections. The first one is 6 centimetres. The next one five and a half and this final one should be around six and a half. At this point it's probably a good idea to fold the paper in half lengthways because we only need to draw half the pattern and we want it to be symmetrical. So from this half line you need to mark five and a half centimetres evenly which is going to be around 2.75 there so make a mark there and there and at this line we need to mark three and a half which is about 1.75 on the middle line. So from here we're going to draw a curve around there that goes through there and then up to that corner. At this point you can leave it a little straight along that edge just there, it doesn't need to be exactly. And then from here right to the end a straight line so again mark 1.75 from the middle there and just join those two lines up and the next just an extra one and that's basically it now what you can do is fold it in half and just cut out the one side and you're going to get your symmetrical bow tie pattern That's the pattern. So, using the pattern you've made, you cut out four bow tie shapes and also four pieces of interfacing. The interfacing only needs to reach to the end of the bow, we don't need to do the strap. Decide which is going to be the wrong side of the fabric, the one that's going to be inside the bow tie, and iron interfacing onto each side. Always make sure you get the glue glue side down, otherwise you make a mess of your iron. Now pin these together Right, now we're going to sew from here, a tiny little bit, round the corner, all the way around and back and make the top corner matching. So basically we're leaving a hole between those bits so that we can pull everything back through. You're going to sew half a centimetre from the edge. <coughs> so now it shows better where we've stitched. We need to clip the corners. both that side and that side 
can clip the curves up to the line of stitching which helps it to lay flat when we turn it inside out. Now here comes the fun part. We need to open the hole and pull everything through the right way out. Using your pencil, gently poke out the corners to make them sharp. that little edge back inside itself so it looks nice and neat. Now repeat that with the other one. That's both ready. We need to now iron them. Now we've got to stitch this hole closed invisibly, so this is how we do it. We open it up and we start our thread from inside there and always keeping it just inside the top line and then just, under, just again under there, take a stitch which is now coming on that side, cross over just again under the edge, another stitch, just a running stitch, but all the time keeping it just inside. Tie off the knot. <clears throat> and I like to pull my thread inside so that I don't have an end sticking out. Just pull it a little bit tight, cut off, and then the loose ends saved inside the tie. I get nice, neat, invisible stitched edge. Now for the next one. You're almost there. Now then, all we need to do is overlap these two straps and attach them. You need to overlap them by about 5 centimetres. You can attach Velcro. I like to put some buttonholes and two shirt buttons because I think it looks smart. So I take one side and I'm just going to use the machine to do two machine stitched buttonholes. Like this. And match that up with two shirt buttons on the other side. And that just means once he's tidy, he's tie nice and tidy. 
If it doesn't want to undo the knot, it can just undo it from the back instead. And that's it, tie is ready.